We present our technique to perform a laparoscopic subtotal colectomy with antiperistaltic C-correctal anastomosis for severe slow transit constipation. The procedure involves the preservation of rectum and cecum along with the leucolic vessels. The intervention is carried on with the patient in a French position. Five trokers are used, as shown in the picture, with the operating surgeon changing position during the procedure. With the operator on the right side of the patient, we begin the identification of traits ligament and inferior mesenteric vein. Tolt's fascia is then dissected from the Gerota fascia with a medial to lateral approach following an avascular plane. A gauze is left in the cavity created between the two layers to be used later as a landmark. The inferior mesenteric vein is clipped and cut. The pancreas is then dissected from the transverse mesocolon. The left colon is mobilized following the white line of tolts towards the splenic flexure. The gauze is retrieved and the splenic flexure dissected free, dividing the colophranic and colosplenic ligaments. By putting into tension the inferior mesenteric vein stump, the inferior mesenteric artery is identified. Once the inferior mesenteric artery is ligated and dissected, the upper third of the rectum is isolated and the colon is transected with a linear stapler at the rectosigmoid junction. With the operator between the legs of the patient, the next step is the identification of the middle colic vessels, followed by coloepiploic detachment and completion of the dissection of the transverse mesocolon from pancreas, duodenum and gerota's fascia. In the case shown, a subhepatic appendix was found and dissected free from its attachment to the liver. With the operator on the left side of the patient, the operation continues with the identification of the ilocicocolic vessels, which must be spared. They are nevertheless dissected free 
from the deep subperitoneal fascia to allow a better mobilization of the cecum. Once the middle colic vessels are identified unequivocally, we proceed with their dissection. The dissection of the right colon from the gerotas fascia is then completed and the right colon is finally transected above the ileocecal valve with multiple firings of a linear stapler. The specimen is therefore extracted through a fine and steel incision. Through the same incision, using a wound protector, the appendectomy is performed. The operation is completed by the fashioning of an anti-peristaltic sicorectal anastomosis with a circular stapler. After a small incision on the cecum, a manual pour string is created and the circular anvil inserted. Depending on the anatomy, the appendix stump can be used to create the pore string. The cecum is reinserted in the abdomen and the pneumoperitoneum reinduced. The shaft of the circular stapler is passed through the rectal stump and an anti-peristaltic sicorectal anastomosis is performed. At the end of the operation, a non-suction tube drain is left in place.